Andrea Ocasio Cortez. I'm the Congresswoman for New York's 14th Congressional District, repping the Bronx and Queens. Do we have any out of borough out here? with you all because we are all here for the same purpose to protect the planet the people and make sure that we end fossil fuels across the globe most importantly i want to thank each and every one of you for being here and for showing up in force it means something when people say oh we're thinking five ten thousand dollars 10,000 people are going to be here, and 50, 70,000 people show up. That means something, because we are in rooms, and I'm in rooms in Washington all the time, where people say that they have a commitment to this issue, but we need urgency on this issue right now. Right now. And the way that we create urgency issue of climate is when we have people all across the world in the streets, in the streets, showing up, demanding change, and demanding a cessation of what is killing us. We have to send the message that some of us are going to be living on, a, on this planet 30, 40, 50 years from now, and we will not take no for an answer. an electoral and a popular force that cannot be ignored. This issue is, is one of the issues, the biggest issue of our time, and because of that, we must be too big and too radical to ignore. The first piece of legislation I introduced in 2019 was the Green New Deal, which demanded... and too unrealistic, and we didn't take no for an answer. We still won't take no for an answer. Since then, we have organized and hit some milestones. Here in New York, organizers won commitments for 100% renewables by 2040. We've made sure new buildings will be fully electric ensures that not only will new energy be renewable, but it will be available as public, democratically controlled goods for our most vulnerable communities. Because what we're not going to do is go from oil barons to solar barons. This belongs to the people. We are demanding a change so that working people, working people get better jobs and lower bills under a renewable energy economy. That is what we are here to make sure that we achieve. We're going to make sure that this transition is union, is union jobs, organized labor, dignity at the center. continue that fight but the but the powers that be are there and it is real and it is against us right now the united states continues to be approving record number of fossil fuel leases and we must send the message right here today right now that that has got to end today <laughs> for climate is starting to buckle and crack that overall grip that the fossil fuel establishment has had in our politics. And that's because of you. Because of you. Don't let the cynics win. The cynics want us to think that this isn't worth it. The cynics want us to believe that we can't win. The cynics 
want us to believe that organizing doesn't matter, that our political system doesn't matter, that our economy doesn't matter. And we're here to say that we organize out of hope. We organize out of commitment. We organize out of love. We organize out of the beauty of our future. And we will not give up. We will not let go. We will not allow cynicism to prevail. We will not allow our vision of a collaborative economy, of dignity for working people, of honoring the black, brown, indigenous, white working class. We will not give up. And that is what we are here to do today, to tell our leaders, from President Biden to the UN General Assembly, to, to, to the, all of our elected officials, that we demand a change. It will happen now. It begins today. It is occurring today. And it's because of you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.